How's it going everybody and welcome back to Brain Man Gaming. I'm your host Brain Man. Let's go by Brain Brandon. You know the deal. So today we are going to be getting a lot of encounters and maybe doing a little bit of the SSN. I'm going to try and keep it at about 30 minutes uh, today because previous episode we uh, went about 50 minutes. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so, first thing, we do have an encounter here, Route 5. So, in the day, there's the Kingdra that we are looking for. Um, honestly, Crocker Rock is probably going to be our best bet. In fact, it would actually probably be my favorite that I don't already have. Oh, sorry. Kiram. Kiram, it is, for me, it is always Kiram. Like, Kiram is just way too good in this game. And that move right there. That move is exactly why. going to heal this off. Uh, berry pouch. Alright, no. Aspir. There we go. Alright. So now we are actually going, since we know he's going to be going for Dragon Rage, we're going to swap out to Gardevoir. Dragon Rage should not affect. Oh no, in prison. There we go. Thank you for being relatively easy to catch, Kiram. Alright, I always name mine Ice Shinron. And, and if you know, you know, but Ice Shinron is unfortunately from Dragon Ball GT, it's the Frost Dragon. Alright, so now I know it probably doesn't have feline prowess, but let's see what it's. Alright, not, not bad. Not bad at all. Alright. Uh, for now, we are going to leave it there. All right, bulldoze. That is going to really come in handy. All right. Now, here's something that I never do. Uh, now, you can fight a good, good Komodo from Legends of Arceus uh, and get an Eevee. I'm not going to do that. Alright, we'll go to the underground path. Alright. Now, this is another place that you can hatch an egg. 
So if we, well, we'll get eggs, but if we end up getting some dupes or anything, then we can go right back there. All right, now where is that other item? I think, think it is right over. I have probably missed it because I think I'm still back up here. There it is. All right. So now we get another encounter. All right. So at night, the Dreepy. Dreepy's really good. Um, Impidimp. Uh, Uh, let's see about at during the daytime. Let's see. All right. Frigibax really isn't going to do anything for us right now. Septile. It actually would be fairly useful against the surge. Hmm. And actually, you are my favorite. So, yeah, let, we are going to go with the Sceptile. And I didn't heal. doesn't matter all right you know what this name just came to me we're going to call septile swag and that is because in the uh, anime says septile had all that swag grow with him I mean, from the toothpick, the attitude. All right. Sand rush, that's not really going to help us. All right. Then you can always go around uh, that guy. And again, you can, you can avoid so many trainers in this route. So just sort of keep an eye. Uh, on it like you can usually you'd want to fight all these trainers but because we had the rare candy yeah code you really don't I still didn't heal all but yeah and like I said because we had the rare candy code you don't have to fight the basically anyone other than what the game says you have to face. Oh. It's the bug rock one. The Sevian. But it is no match for a beast boosting Zapdos. Ooh, there we go. We finally got our prism scale. All right. We're going to heal really quick. All right. And now we are going to finally evolve our... Cedra. Uh,
No, you don't need a no brawn. All right. So usually as a you know, sort of rule of thumb or it's usually better to just go ahead and le level up the mons to the max level and then use the item. And that's just because there have been bugs in the past to where using an item before they were at max level didn't evolve the mon. And I've just now realized we are quickly becoming Blaine and becoming Lance. All right. That doesn't really help. But. All right. Yeah. Yeah, you are going right back into the PC. Alright. And so now... Here we go. We go into here. And we get the good rod. So now, if we want, and we actually probably will, we will go and get the, the Victini. But, alright, so. Now with the old rod. And the good rod. I think we can get the Grim Snarl now. I'm pretty sure we can. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and make some room for this egg. And again, just go ahead and take the Wonder Egg. And then immediately put it up. Oh, and then course we can go ahead go here go ahead and get that all right and now leave come back Alright, so now, what was Duskal? Alright, no, a, a Dusk Moor's not bad. I, we could have done worse. Uh, there we go, that's the one that does the punches. Alright, so Kuma's going to be able to learn... Think just about all the punches. Right. All the punches. Yep. Kuma can learn all the punches. I didn't want that one. What about psychic things? No one. All right. Alright, so now, Route 11. Uh, 
in the daytime. Backscalibur could be nice. Alright, what about in the night time? Not the PC. Uh, night time. Alright, so it looks like Backscalibur, it is. Oh, I did not mean to face this one. Like, the problem with this route right here is there are so many trainers. How are you faster? Doesn't matter. Excalibur, just please stay in the ball. Thank you. Alright. I need another Ice Dragon. Another Ice Dragon or the dragon in general All right. we're gonna name you Puff that's the first name that popped into my head ah dang it like there's one like one specific area way that you can walk and you won't run into anyone Unfortunately, I just happen to be running into everything. Go let nope. And it's ground ghost. But now I do I do sort of have a plan for uh, Surge already. And it's going to be a little cheap, but I'm okay with it. Yeah, because I just happened to find out when... No, when I went back through the Movo relearner, relearner for Overquill, that not only does it have spikes, but it also got toxic spikes. Alright, so now there's Whitney. You don't have to fight Whitney. In fact, we're not going to fight Whitney. I think I've done it once. I do not have a Forges. Uh, item Finder, yep. Don't need it. Alright, so now... Well, Route 12... I'm going to go ahead, actually, let me look at the decks now for Route 12. Uh, 
I'm it is pretty good so actually what we are going to do is go back to the underground uh, no actually I will take you over and yeah, we'll we'll go through there later yeah so we're going to use the map uh, yeah we need to sort this by name as well gonna use the pokey rider We're going to go hatch the egg where we usually, where you usually would hatch the Pewter City egg. Uh, yeah, so you always come in here. Yeah, I know it's the Boulder Badge. All right, so. So this Route 23 is typically where you would hatch the egg that became our Barracuda. Alright, what do we got? Your mask. Mm. I'm not going to give you a nickname just yet. Uh, I was a level 34. If I am correct, I think your mask cannot become Kofagriga, cannot become Runarigus. Yep, yeah, no, it cannot. Because it is not the Galarian. All right. There we go. All right, and now I'm going to fly to Pallet Town. Not go to the PC. And so we are going to put Fuma at the head. All right. Now we are going for the Victini, so nothing else matters except Victini. Lucha, we do not need you, so go away. Oh, come on, now be the Vic There we go. There's our Victini.
Yeah, that's not going to do much. Um, you should live in an aerial ice. Oh, yeah. Now just do not crit. Ooh. You know what? We're going to go ahead and go out into Schneider. There we go. All right, so Victini. No, it, it doesn't look like poached. Uh, Um, you know what? Ooh, yeah, yep. Yeah. I am going to name it Maki after the yo. Know, well, my favorite the female character in the Fire Force. All right, so Victini, what do you have? Oh, dear God. Please tell me you already... You already have something that can help. All right, what do you have? Reckless, that is very nice. Uh, that's a great one for you. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and first one, no. Always take no. Right. I need to find out when you evolve first. Let's see here. You evolve first at thirty-seven. I I knew that I already looked looked that up. So now we'll get Dusclops, and then one more evolution, and we get Dust and Water. So if we wanted to, we could go a Eviolot Dusclops. That is viable. I mean, honestly, I probably should have kept Nightshade, but we can always relearn it. All right, when do you evolve next? Link Cable. All right. So, when we go to Celadon, 
we can involve you. Oh, that's right. I was going to check your... What the hell? Good lord. Like, this learn set is crazy. All right. So yes, I will go them to go through that and figure out the best moves for Maki after. All right. I right, go back to Vermilion. All right, so. Move you. Move you. All right. We still have a vermilion encounter. All right. So honestly, I think I think we go good rod impedent. Because I mean, I love Grim Snarl. Like it is, it is phenomenal. And Grim Snarl does puts in a lot of work in Radical Red. Did I read did I read that right? Yeah, there are three that we can get. Spritzy, we do not want you. Not at all. Alright, so Ipidim is probably the rare encounter. So in that case, let me speed it up. Alright. Lo and behold, it was the very next encounter. Alright. So... For Grim Snarl, I can't really name it Grim. Mm. I know what I I name my Grim Snarls Gizmo. And again, if you know what Gizmo's from. You're either like me, very old, or you just happen to will watch the late 80s, early 90s movies. Because Gizmo is from the movie Gremlins, Gremlins 2. So now it becomes the uh, middle Evo Morgrim. There we go. I could not remember its name. Mm. 
and your your ability doesn't matter. False surrender, yes. I mean, Torment actually could be very useful. Uh. Right. And now we get the Grim Snarl, the Gremlin. Finish leveling you up by that one. Alright, and now what is your ability? Shed skin, not bad, not great. Alright. Uh, so now, for our last encounter of the day, we're going to go to the SS Sand. Alright, so, Old Rod, Ndidi, Good Rod, Leveny, Hisuian, Gudra, Uh, honestly, I say I just come back until I just come back when I have surf and then we get the surf on because I'm already going to have the Hisuian Gudra because Dragon Steel is a whole lot better than Pure Dragon. Alright, so... We are actually going to leave off here. I mean, much shorter than yesterday's episode, but again, I went over long yesterday just taking care of everything in Cerulean City. So tomorrow's episode should be fairly quick and it'll be SSN, uh, just a quick little was stuff back at Viridian City and from the, the surge battle and then that will probably do it then do rock tunnel to Celadon the, the episode after so I sort of feel like that's probably going to work out best and with us being in Vermilion City, today's question of the day, what is your favorite electric top? Now, for me, my favorite electric type is probably actually going to be, if I really stop and think about it, I'll say I'll go Z Zebstrika. It's terrible. I know it's terrible. But having that Zebstrika with um, the El Elena? No, Alessa. Right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Alessa. I'm going to have to look that up now. Yep, I was right. Elessa. But, the, I, said, I don't want to say B B Pikachu, 
because I don't really like Pikachu. I like Raichu a whole lot better. But I'm not a huge Raichu fan, except for when it comes to Alolan Raichu. Uh, but Zebstrika, yes, I know it's just a zebra. But the, the thought that they yeah, thought to make a zebra and make it electric type and make it a signature Pokemon for a gym leader. Great. Because I actually used to love zebras as a kid. Uh, so I look forward to waiting to your answers below in the comments section. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff that I know you all love to, to do. So without further ado, I'll see you all later. Peace.